up everyone? So, warming up the lasers, another day, had some coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> so we got a bunch of stuff to run. I can't even show you my desk area because I got a bunch of proofs. So I'm gonna start out. I always try to start out and do all the proofs right in the morning because if I try to do them in the afternoon, once I get in a groove and get in my groove, I, I don't like to stop. And when I stop to do the proofs, it's really hard. So sit down, I'm gonna do the proofs and then we're gonna get working. All right, proofs are done. We'll put you back on the tripod. And yes, you can put a pen in your ear and it'll stay if you don't have hair. <laughs> There's always a myth. I was always told that when I was younger. Maybe it was just my uncle's trying to pull a fast one on me. So, whose kids has fun playing with a vacuum? Mine. <laughs> Got a cutting board running. Grab a couple more of them, run all those. And gotta keep batch running. It's a lot faster. Makes more sense, trust me. Hope everyone's having a good day. It is not sunny whatsoever, but it's supposed to be 41 today. So, perfect. It has been a busy day here at our house. We have been eating so many meals from the freezer. For breakfast, we had an egg bake we pulled out of the freezer and some cinnamon rolls that we had made ahead of time. It's been so much help so that we can just get a little extra sleep in the morning. And for lunch, we're having a little lasagna. I'm gonna go pick a salad from the greenhouse. Lasagna. <laughs> it's kind of a cloudy day. Well, it kind of looks sunny, but it is a beautiful day. I can't believe we don't have any snow. Christmas is gonna be here before we know it. And I don't know if we're gonna have a white Christmas or not. If you missed any of our greenhouse updates, we put hoops and second layers inside the greenhouse. And so far, it seems to be doing really well. We also heated one of the sides, but not the sides where our greens are. I can almost cut whole heads here. Got that bowl full. So that is gonna be really nice for a little side with our lasagna. We've been having such interesting weather. I think it's in the 40s today. So just, just interesting. Don't really need a coat if I'm just out here for a little bit. I went and grabbed some dried dill from upstairs. So we're gonna put that on our salad. This is just one of my favorite things to add to a salad. It doesn't have to have a lot on it, but it adds a lot of flavor. So even though we're busy, even though we're eating in the basement, even though I'm using the pizza oven to make lunch, doesn't mean we can't eat something delicious. I'm so glad we planned ahead. We got those lasagnas and things in the freezer. Salad in the greenhouse, that is so awesome. This is the first year ever we've been able to do that. Last year we kind of lived off for our veggies was like those little salad in a bag kits, which are kind of expensive. And 
I don't know, they're just different. I'd rather have fresh salad I grew myself, so really excited. It's always exciting when the big trucks come with deliveries for the kids. They get to watch the big trucks unload. So we just, wait a minute. Ah, I forgot to change up the garden tour. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so now we're back at it. Gotta get some work done. The kids are sleeping. Shh. What are you trying to get out, Lydia? My boodle. Your boodle? <laughs> boodle. Kaboodle. 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 Anyone else? Oh, bless you. Anyone else have a kaboodle as a kid? Oh, I did. Ah! Look, we got a little. What are you? Train engineer? Eee! So somehow Matt and I completely forgot that we need to go get eggs today. I don't know. We've been busy or something. But he was going to head out and he had shorts on. So I'm like, that's all right. I'll do it. So I'm going to bring you down to get some chicken eggs. Let's see how many we have. The sun's going down and it is getting cold out. So I'm kind of dreading this. <laughs> I haven't been out here in a while. I almost forgot what I needed to do. I need to grab some corn so that I don't get pecked a ton. Especially since I put my tennis shoes on instead of my chicken boots. Whoops. I think I gotta talk to Matt, we gotta move this thing. We've got a couple girls who are laying eggs behind it. And, oops. And although it's probably not that big deal, that big of a deal, I can't actually reach back there. My arms just really aren't that long. So instead I'm like laying on the floor practically to get the eggs out and I don't wanna do that. Like that was the most adventurous that it has ever been to get eggs. I kept getting pecked on the darn feet and I'm wearing tennis shoes so it actually just like is enough to like keep you on your toes I guess they say. Um, but there were 30 eggs so that is really awesome. I accidentally dropped one in all the commotion going on in there so I broke one and then when I went to pick up another it was so thin the shell that my finger went right through it so i don't know if that was a hen who just started laying or what i just slammed the gate holding the eggs i can't believe i just did that 
set the egg basket down, then shut the gate. Please don't do what I did and please get sleep at night so you don't end up like me. So again, there were 30 eggs. I don't know how many we actually salvaged out of that, 28, 26, hopefully more than not. <laughs> oh, you guys, seriously, no sleep. <laughs> you guys, seriously, sleep is not a joke. You need your rest at night and uh, it's really important. Or you do really silly things like slam a gate while you're holding an entire basket of eggs. I think on that note, I need to uh, call it an early night, get some supper, and go to bed. Because tomorrow is a new day, and uh, I need to, uh, I need to have a clear brain with it. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, subscribe down below. Glad you got to see us again. Bye. I locked myself out of the house. Seriously now? <sighs> Can you let me in? Yes. Do you know how to unlock it? Unlock it? Oh. So Leroy just asked me for a Christmas gift. He wants a GoPro that he can strap to his remote control race car and take videos. Pretty clever, but I don't have a GoPro. Matt doesn't have a GoPro, so... Uh, sorry buddy, you might be on your own for this one. He might actually have to save up for this one. He saved up and bought a four-wheeler, so it can be done.